Hello, it's Sarah. And today, um, I'm, I'm having some ideas and I wanted to just share. I don't know if I've ever shared these and I don't know if they'll fit in the um, camera shot. This is um, some of the glass mosaics that I did back, I don't know if I ever, oh look, 11, yay. 11, 12, 13, 14, oh my gosh, yeah, way before I discovered YouTube. Um, I have always loved stained glass and mosaics. So anyway, these were my attempts at mosaics. Now these are pieces of wood. This one is probably something my husband made. It's the shape of a birdhouse, but it was also for a painted piece that I had done previously as well. So um, what I did was I traced the shape out onto, and I have the notebook, it's underneath. I'll show you that at the end. Um, onto some, you know, um, in my sketchbook. And then I just started to doodle and design something that I could put on this piece. So these are actually regular tiles, and I, I don't know for sure, I don't remember. I mean, hey, it was five years ago. <laughs> I can't remember yesterday. But these are just tiles that you could cut apart from um, a sheet of tiles that you could get at Home Depot. So I didn't have to go far, but this is actually stained glass um, glass that you buy in a 12 by 12 um, piece. And they sell this at Hobby Lobby. Um, and I didn't have a lot of colors at the time probably, but um, you know, I had enough that I could play around. So this is probably one color of blue this, and you can actually, this yellow glass is, oh shit, sorry, <laughs> sorry, is see-through. And that's kind of cool because you can actually see, you can see the wood through it. You know, like, I don't know, like I was a beginner and now having the experience I have with mosaics, even with polymer clay, it's just, I mean, I am thinking so many things. Um, so I just designed, look, that's my little bird that I always like to do. And then I just filled in the bottom with uh, the squares. And this is another, actually, I know I got these online, these little tiny ones. They don't sell something like that at Home Depot. They may sell them at um, craft stores, though, the little mosaic tiles. So that's my birdhouse. I'm so glad I signed it. I love that I signed it. And then this is my snowman. And again, this is another piece. Ugh, didn't sign it. But my husband had cut this uh, to be painted. And I know it was for specifically for a Lori Speltz, her name is. Lori Speltz snowman. Um, but again, I decided to make him into a snowman. Now this one, I probably got lazy and I probably didn't have any black glass because you can see that I chipped off the tops of the squares to kind of get the uh, hat rounded. Um, and I just did a basic, you know, shape, but I ended up, I got tired of just doing like random, random mosaic shapes are very time consuming, like when you do it like that. So I decided to just do strips and then cut them as I went. And it, it moves along much faster. So I did this, the, the whole thing in that style. I mean, even the scarf, well, I didn't do the birds like that. I mean, the birds, and again, look, it's that see-through yellow. That must have been the only yellow that I had. And you can see through, well, this is yellow too, obviously, and that's opaque. You can tell it's totally opaque, but this is clear. But I wanted to, you know, have both colors. And I even put tiny chips in their eyes. So anyway, so there's that one, and then I'll show you one more. Um, and then I did a huge mirror frame that's in my bedroom, and it's like about four by three. It's big. I mean, it's four by three, I would say, at least. Um, and my husband made that. It's huge, though. Um, and it hangs on one of the walls in my bedroom, and it's very, very... Um, beginner. It's very beginner. Like I don't even think at the time I was cutting my leaves into two pieces. I mean, it's so beginnery and I, I kind of, you know, but when I want to do something, I want to go big. <laughs> that was my first one that I did. I should take a picture of it. So then I started doing these and these are, are frames and I didn't sign it again. 
Oh my gosh. These are frames that you can get at uh, Michael's and AC Moore at the craft stores. It's just a thick piece of pine. And I've made, I've sold a lot of, I sold a lot of these at craft shows. And um, I use one for a frame of Joe and I. It's in there. It's similar with some birds down here. But this one was just pinks and greens. And it goes, it stays in my room here because this green matches my my decor. Um, and I ha so I had some pink. And these are those little, uh, the gems. These are the gems that I used for the centers. And then these are little heart shaped tiles that you can get at the craft stores. I don't even think like these are the real deal tiles around the edge, but these aren't. I just cut a strip of white glass and then made them to match. But this is one of my favorites and you can still see through that glass. So you know what would have been cool if I would have painted it, you know, like gold or something or a like a iridescent color, something that could reflect through, you know, now that I have experience with the mirror and all that. So those are uh, three pieces that I have in the glass, but I don't know how many of you are familiar with Shara Frank. Um, she is a mosaic artist, a fine art mosaics that she just, this is so right up my alley. I'm going to try and, this is my iPad Pro, my Merry, happy birthday, happy anniversary, Mother's Day. May is a big month for me. But I wanted something that I could keep in my craft room and watch my classes on. Anyway, that's her. And if you look at this picture, look at this. There's all beads behind her. So, I mean, that's, I got into bead. Like, this is all the stuff that I love. Um, and, I mean, they call it tr tress array or something. The stuff that you use on to put in a mosaic. But she uses everything and anything. Seed beads. I mean, if you can see this picture here, there's little seed beads in that row. Then there's tile. Then there's more seed beads. Like, it's insane, all the stuff she puts. Look, there's little hands. Can you see that? Look at the top of that eye. Those are little tiny hand charms or something. I mean, it is just incredible, right? Um, so she offers classes, they, they have workshops, live workshops, and um, also online that she offers a couple. So see, here's a basic one where it's just a tree with some cherries hanging and a bird. So I mean, that's, oops, that's kind of more, you know, something I would have thought of. <laughs> OMG, no way. Oh, look, it's like a Jody Ole painting only it's in tiles. So now the sky is the limit. All of a sudden, I'm just like, wow, I could do this. Now here's the thing. Glass hurts. I've cut off my whole knuckle, the skin of my whole knuckle, because I was trying to get off a tile, and I, I cut myself like I'm so rough. It's a dangerous sport for me to do this. Um, but... I could be more gentle. I know that. OMG, look. She did a, a three-dimensional piece. This is all beads. Wow. Oh my gosh. Sorry. I get, see, this, this gets me excited. And it's something new. It's something I haven't done. Now see that just looks like a, a like I would do with polymer clay. You know just a big piece and then she's tiled around it. See how she put the tiles in there to fit. Look at this bird. Incredible. So I think what I was thinking was why couldn't I attempt to do something like this with polymer clay? Now the whole thing about that is I'm, I'm kind of figuring it out. What I want to do is something along the lines of, let me zoom back out, up, whatever. I had an idea, and I'll come back in a different video and show you what, uh, like, kind of more along these lines. 
Let's see if it goes there. Okay. So I was going to just cut, well, almost zen doodle or zen tangle. Um, something like this, okay? So just make some swirls, maybe some flowers. Um, and I want to use probably some gems, a couple gems, but I'm going to do it with polymer clay. Now here's what I've done. I showed this is my little my oldest sketchbook that I have and it was a journal and a all right but I'll show you this is the birdie when I was figuring out the birdie I just traced the shape of the house on here and started doodling and that's how I got that design I was gonna do live love laugh like I have and this is this is basically what my big frame up in my bedroom looks like um, I've doodled in here for a couple different, when I have ideas. Anyway, so this is what I have here, and I don't even know if you can see this, but this is, basically I just traced the shape of one of my mirrors, right? So what I was thinking was, that's a gem, that's a gem, and that's a gem. I usually go in threes. See, and I don't even know if you can see this because it's in pencil. And then this, and it, this, can, this can be, um, see that's very crooked, but that's okay. This is just a beginning sketch. This can be a solid petal, or it could be something like this. Let's see if you can, I'll zoom in on this one, right? Let's just work on this one for a second. And then it could even have, um, it could go, like, there could be, I've seen hers like this. She does something like this in the middle, where I could put a bling in each of those sections. So this is a, just a gem. Um, and then you just start to fill in. So maybe I need a leaf. I definitely need a leaf, right? Okay. Now, here's the thing, though. I'm either going to cut, I'm going to make clay sheets. See, and I'm not sure if this is going to work and if I can cut the clay because then I could fill this in. Like, all right, so, so I'm going to cut a piece of green clay just in this shape. And then when I place it into the mosaic, I'm going to cut it in half and then cut it into pieces like this and place it in like a puzzle. So see, this is what I'm thinking. This is what I'm thinking I can maybe do with polymer clay that will um, kind of mimic her, like her designs, the way she does it, but without all the glass. And like still using um, beads and different metal embellishments and stuff like that. Um, so I'm gonna have to work on this design a little bit. Uh, I have, let's see if I have, I've been trying to uh, screenshot some inspiration for um, like, yeah, it's not on my phone, they're on my mini, my iPad mini. Uh, nope, I don't have anything that I was thinking for this. Because like, again, I said it's just all kind of zen, so, and then I could just like maybe just do a swirl over here right and this could just have clay that I just cut like this and place it in there I don't know and I mean I'm still I'm still playing on oh, you can't even see what I'm doing I'm sorry you know what I'm gonna do that off screen and um, I'll show you what I come up with but I wanted to show you these I finished, um, these are boxes that I've shared before, but I did one other one. So let's see. This is my boho, and this one started it all when it came to adding the tiles to the side. And I'm loving it. I'm loving adding the tiles to the side. It just, I'm going to go up a little bit. It finishes it off. It just is, it just, it just is, okay? And then... I shared this briefly 
when I did another video, but this is the music box. And here's the thing, guys. This is, oh shit, <laughs> sorry, that's two shits. This is one of a kind. Like, literally, I don't have, I do, actually. I have probably enough pieces, like I have another set of these buttons. The brads I have, like this button, I don't know, I don't know, I think I do have another one of them, but you know, that's the thing. So it's one of a kind, the way they're cut, the shapes, I don't have another exactly that size because it's hand cut. So when I put this together, it's whatever goes together at the time, that's how it turns out. But look at the sides. It turned out so good and like, I don't wanna let go of it. I mean, I could sell it, but I really love it for now. Anyway, um, just love it. I love it. I love the way it turned out. I ended up gluing a couple blings on here. Um, one of a kind though, because every single one of these is cut by hand. You can't duplicate it, even if you wanted to. It's not going to be the same, you know, unless I had measurements. So that's my music one. And I am in love. I am in love with it. It's so freaking pretty. Oh my gosh. So then this is the one I made this weekend. My Mickey one. So I've had these um, Mickey and Minnie ones kind of set aside. Didn't know what I was doing with them. And you know, Mickey has uh, red pants. So I did throw some red in here. Just, you can't even tell it's red actually. But look at this. Isn't that amazing? I love it. It's so blingy and colorful. But again, every single one is hand handmade. I can't duplicate this. Like, I don't know if I have another tile like that. It's a stamp tile, and I don't know when I made it or what. I just go through all my stash, and whatever fits best goes in this. So I did the same trim that's on this one. This is the gold, and this is actually just black, and it looks like there's gems in there, but it's not. It's like hollowed out. This is the stuff you get at Michael's in the dollar bin. So... Um, I love it. Like, I like that I put the dots on here, and that was already done before I started doing this. Like, this box was already painted in red and black, because I think I was doing it for the Mickey. I was going to do a Mickey piece, but then I wanted to add Minnie, and, Minnie, and she's pink. So anyway, um, but I love that. It just finishes off the edge, and I have to um, varnish this box. I haven't varnished it. You can tell the difference. See how it's very dull and this one's got like a satiny finish yeah um and then oops look at the sides so this is the front put another mickey down there it's a little mini bow and it says wish this is um gold leafing these are the ones that I got, and they looked like Zentangle to me, and I just loved it. Flower. Another bow, and a big jewelry piece. But see how I put them in, and this says love. I put them in the clay so that then I'm not filling it. See, that's a red bling in there, and you can, yeah, you can tell it's red. But I did throw a little bit of red. That's black. I thought I did red again. These are just pink. This is all pink um, micro beads in there to fill in that those gaps. And then I just painted the feet pink. And I painted up here pink. The rest of the box is black, but I painted up there pink. Just so when you take it off, it gives you a little like, I don't know. But OMG, now these are one of a kinds. I just, how am I, how do I sell it? Because not only, I mean, I just want it to be a fair price for the amount of work and I want someone to be able to buy it so I don't want to charge too much, but I'll never be able to make the same thing again. So these are all one of a kind. Now I have to figure out how to sign these. I have to sign them or put, I'll show you what I've been doing. This is kind of getting long, huh? 
but this is another um, boho style that I did but I've been doing this I just write my name on a sticker and the date and after I've touched it up and painted it and then I stick it and then I varnish on top of it so that's one way but they could you could always peel it off so it's probably not the best way um, you know what I mean somebody could have just wrote their own name and put it on there so it's not like it's permanent in the piece and I love this turned out so good I don't have any more of these and they don't sell them at Michaels anymore so I don't know if I could ever do it again um, so yeah well, again one of a kind absolutely um, and this is the other boho which I'm not in love for some reason I loved this it just really came together and I tried to duplicate the feeling and I couldn't do it so this one has some of the pieces from the new stamp set I got from this one with the Sun the coloring ones by Hampton Art I have a couple little house parts and the and the rainbows I love the rainbows but here's the Sun and then I used some of these are charms I don't know if they're by a uh, B landing or something I have dream happy beautiful some of those entangle silvers put them in there um, and then it's just mix of pretty much this whole thing is hand painted tiles except for the musics and anything that I've embedded in the clay and then fillers but for the most part hand painted it's all white clay um, all the ones I've hand painted were stamped on are white clay so I mean again the amount of work that goes into something like this it's just incredible it's it's crazy and I do each one is my baby you know so anywho I'm gonna hopefully be putting these on my Etsy store um, and some other stuff my Etsy store is is empty because I let it get empty because I'm not a businesswoman I like to make things <laughs> Um, but all right, you guys, that's it for now. I got to take my doggy to the vet. Um, she's okay. She just needs her checkup and uh, heart medicine or something. Um, all right, so that was a lot, but I want to get back to my journal, my art journal, but I'm still really thinking about a lot of stuff that I could do with clay um, that, ha that, you know, has to do with mosaics. But, I mean, aren't these so... I can't even take it like how can I sell them and then they'll be gone from me but what am I doing with them I'm just collecting them all right you guys thanks for watching